tan bonito que ilumina para The snowman was a jolly, happy soul With a corncob pipe and a button nose And two eyes made out of coal Noche de paz Taos Pueblo is very traditional and very unique in its ways. So. The pozole and the tamales are over there, the empanaditas. Santa Fe, the city of holy faith. It's midnight at St. Francis Cathedral, the center of celebration, where angels rejoice the birth of the Christ child. <laughs> Las Posadas is a reenactment of Mary and Joseph's search for shelter as they neared Bethlehem. And in modern times, at Arroyo Hondo, just north of Taos, parishioners of Nuestra Señora de los Dolores, Our Lady of Sorrows, begin their annual Christmas celebrations. Danos aguinaldos, dulce del cielo. Las Posadas is a religious experience. It's prayer through song, recited fervently house to house throughout the nine evenings of this annual celebration. In preparation for Christmas, this symbolic ceremony is a tradition that takes parishioners house to house, looking for shelter and food. They make luminarias, and every every night they make a first luminaria, the second night two luminarias, the third night third. Until the ninth day, it's like a novena. It's like a novena. Like the older people that, like uh, your mom, no? Mm -hmm. they, they, they pray the novena for nine days, nine days you know, which is tradition. Yeah. That's the way we were taught since we were small, you know. Families here worry about a high-tech generation that may be forgetting an important element of their past. It's terrible because our grandchildren are not learning all this at school. We would practice and practice in silent night and have the Virgin Mary and Joseph. Some of the students would be chosen, kings, shepherds, even an angel and a scarf. All the kids, all the, our friends. No, you can't do that, which is a shame, you know. Infante luz de los magos, de la esclavitud de los hijos de Adán. Vamos todos a
At the Genara Sanchez home, another year of festive and rejuvenating memories in the making. And here in Arroyo Hondo, like many other northern New Mexico communities, the reenactment of Las Posadas takes on a slightly different flavor. Pozole and the tamales are over there, the empanaditas. Pozole, hominy. It wouldn't be Christmas without the Native American foods. Newly arrived Spaniards readily adopted this delicious recipe of slowly cooked corn, add scrumptious seasonings, and perhaps a touch of pork or venison and red or green chili. The aroma is delightful. It's Christmas in New Mexico. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Prospero ando y felicidad. Twenty-five minutes to the north of Santa Fe, another community relives Las Posadas. Instead of house-to-house -house caroling, here in Chimayo, parishioners gather at an old adobe Catholic church. La Cuchilla has been the center of Christmas celebrations for centuries. Here too, prayer, song, and food. Beans and chile, enchiladas, tamales. Tamales have been part of the Native American diet centuries before Columbus made his appearance in this continent. They're known by several different names, including pasteles in Puerto Rico, arepas in Colombia. Here in northern New Mexico, they take on their own character. My grandmother used to say that <clears throat> the, lo the olive was for uh, love, health, and prosperity. <laughs> The halls with hot tamales. Ba -la 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 -la, la -la -la -la. In Albuquerque, Noberta Frescas loves Christmas. She bakes up a storm for family and friends. Biscochitos, Mexican wedding cookies, more biscochitos. Oh, the aroma hovering this place. I was raised in the southern part of the state, Nelson. This is the recipe we've been using for more years than I care to remember. <laughs> so if you like cinnamon a lot, you can put cinnamon in. Every August 12th, Santa Clara Pueblo, just south of Española, celebrates its feast days with ceremonial dances. Thousands of neighbors come to enjoy tradition at the Pueblo. But when Christmas approaches, cooking and baking intensifies. It is hard work, but there's a joy and pride in all of it. <laughs> it, is, it is a lot of work. But we, we started making uh, the dough last night about 9, and then we let it rice. A 
about 45 minutes later, they are just about as perfect as you can hope for. And this is generations of secret recipes. It comes out a golden bundle of joy, and I can only tell you the aroma is fantastic. Santa's arrival here is a bit unusual and stirs up quite a commotion at one of New Mexico's most awesome pueblos. Santa's visit here is a perfect reason for a feast. As you can imagine, the young and young at heart at Acoma look forward to Santa's arrival, but this visit comes after Christmas. For most children, Christmas ends December 25th, but here at Acoma, believed to be the longest continually inhabited settlement in this hemisphere, Native American children carry on a very sacred tradition. It's been uh, a tradition for a long time, ever since the church was established here around 1600, and they have been celebrating with the uh, Christmas uh, four-day celebration, starting 25th and uh, ends after that the fourth day. I enjoy um, being here, especially uh, this holy season, because uh, there's a very uh, special meaning that takes place here, and uh, we involve everybody uh, throughout the world. The butterfly dances that are taking place here today uh, represent our nature. You know, uh, early springtime, you know, the uh, butterflies come out, and uh, that gives a um, uh, the beginning of springtime. That's one thing that we all pray for is world peace. Yes. You better watch out, you better not cry, you better not pout, I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. Christmas takes on many forms in the land of enchantment. Santa has his hands full, making this gathering and many others like it very special. Christmas brings out the kindness in people. Volunteer students help needy children in Albuquerque with donated shopping sprees, sponsored by national department stores and local nonprofit organizations. I'm doing this because I want people to know that there are people less fortunate than us, and also just to give a, a person an opportunity that some people might not have and have a better Christmas. Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad, prospero año y felicidad. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas. I wanna wish you a Merry Christmas from the bottom of my heart. And of course, Christmas in New Mexico brings live displays. It's family participation that makes this season so special. We've come every year for many, many years, since I was a little girl, actually, because it really helps us focus on the real meaning of Christmas, which is the birth of Jesus Christ. And this year, my daughter is a shepherd. There are fundraisers throughout the Christmas season focusing on the less fortunate. Sales of gingerbread houses at an Albuquerque shopping mall help the homeless. People's generous hearts lead them to donate their baked art. And a happy New Year. It's been a wild deal. You're looking well. 
Live stage dramas play out the Christmas spirit, and of course, there's always the Scrooge. A Chicano Christmas Carol through the University of New Mexico is a presentation of the infamous Scrooge, who would have nothing to do with giving. Ah, but through it all, there is humor, love, and song. Christmas in New Mexico. The atmosphere is said to be unmatched. Its unique tenderness is felt everywhere. Another year of fond memories in the making. It's an enjoyable ride through cities and towns of New Mexico during the Christmas season. It is rare to see a business or home in these parts without the glow of holiday lights. Farolito. It comes from the word farol, which is Spanish for lantern. A small lantern then is called a farolito. Paper bag, sand, votive candle. The pronunciation has stuck over the centuries since the Spaniards began the tradition. They are often mistakenly called luminarias. This is a luminaria, welcoming us to a cheerful Christmas Eve at Taos Pueblo. Native Americans here have been welcoming thousands of neighbors for decades. It's an evening to enjoy the charm of this 96-acre Pueblo. There are ceremonial dances, but Indian tradition disallows recording the ancient ceremonies. We just don't do dances just for the sake of doing them. It's, it's got a lot of meaning to my people, and we would like to keep it like that for a long, long time to come. Preserving tradition is what's made this Pueblo and others like it in New Mexico very special. It's where people come to appreciate a unique spirit of Christmas. Christmas Eve at Taos Pueblo, exciting yet tranquil, united, spiritual. As I remember growing up in, on this Pueblo, uh, and I grew up during the Depression, um, we didn't see Christmas trees, we didn't see all the ornaments, we didn't see any lights around. Uh, as you know, uh, it was all very beautiful with just bonfires, uh, mostly festivities taking place, eating as everybody's best uh, habit. <laughs> Feliz Navidad! Feliz Navidad! Feliz beautiful Navidad. sounds, not only of mariachi, but the sounds of the river, the crackling fire. And here at Taos Pueblo, on any given Christmas Eve, tradition is very much alive. Tradition that has been celebrated for centuries. And for others, like 12-year-old Lyle Padilla, frolicking with friends in the night is a Christmas Eve tradition. Yeah, it's kept alive. Kept burning like the flame. As you know, we are very peace-loving people. But as years go and as people multiply, we are cornered into our own world. And that that has become a sort of a hesitancy on our part. There's little hesitancy for Lyle on this magical night. Anticipation is a driving force for him and his friends. After all, it's Christmas Eve in New Mexico. Me and my friends, we walk around and look at all the bonfires that get warm. Yeah, and especially when we get to open our presents. Santa Claus is coming to town. Did somebody say presents? 
Here, in one of the cozy adobe rooms that make up the ancient Pueblo, a family prepares for the opening of gifts. It's a tradition that children sing a Christmas song before receiving their presents. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse open sleigh. A-dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. All the fields we go, laughing all the way. The bells on bobtail ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. At San Felipe the Neri Church in Albuquerque's Old Town, another centuries-old tradition, Midnight Mass. Christmas in New Mexico. It is unique. It is heartwarming. It is enchanting. Feliz Navidad.